Reprehensible. That's the word lawmakers are using to describe conditions at the nation's junior enlisted barracks. And they're demanding that the Secretary of Defense take action. Mike Gooding has details. The Government Accountability Office found numerous deficiencies in junior enlisted barracks and said there's been insufficient oversight by the military branches and the Department of Defense. There were so many problems in so many facilities that we toured, but some of the, the areas where I think it was most concerning were barracks that we toured that had uh, real safety concerns. So inoperable fire systems, broken windows, broken locks, uh, squatters in barracks. Uh, we heard stories about um, one uh, person who was sexually assaulted in the barracks. Virginia Senator Tim Kaine and Representatives Rob Whitman and Jen Kiggins have signed on to a bipartisan letter from 17 House and Senate members to Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin. They wrote, this is reprehensible and we expect you to take expeditious and appropriate action. The people who choose to serve in the enlisted ranks do so selflessly with little expectation of reward. They are the soul of the military and of the nation and they deserve better. But the fact that the military has allowed this to get worse and worse and worse is an indictment of them. Um, you wonder why we have retention and recruiting problems, you know? It's things like this that make it hard to attract the best and the brightest to uh, consider military service. Mike Gooding, 13 News Now. Kane said he'd consider looking at the privatization of barracks, having civilian companies come in and run the facilities with strict oversight from base commanders. If somebody can do a better job than the military, Kane said, quote, we shouldn't turn away from that as a possibility.